The Seasnake DVD Base is a battery-powered DVD recorder that adds audio and video recording capability to your existing equipment. The unit's small size, splash-resistant case, and battery-powered operation make it the perfect portable package. Its built-in microphone with automatic level control brings audio as well as video recording to any monitoring system with a video output jack. The DVD base uses a Sony DVD Direct recorder for reliable, high-quality recording. The recorder's built-in viewing screen lets you monitor the video image during recording, and the unit has a preview function that lets you play back DVD recordings in the field. The case is designed to make the recorder inside easily field replaceable by end users to help minimize repair costs and downtime. To protect your investment, the DVD base can be upgraded to the DVD pack as your needs change. The DVD pack has all the features of the DVD base, plus a 4.3 inch display and controls for the camera's sound and lighting. Contact a Rigid Authorized Service Center or visit rigid.com for details on upgrading your unit. In the next few minutes, we'll demonstrate the basics of connecting the DVD base to your equipment and using it to record an inspection. In this segment, we'll show you the basics of connecting the DVD base to your monitor and using it to record an inspection. To get the most out of this video, we suggest that you take a moment to review the Sony DVD Direct User Manual in order to familiarize yourself with the recorder's operating controls. The DVD base can be powered from an AC source when used indoors. Refer to the DVD base operator's manual for details on the unit's AC power options. To power the unit with its 18-volt lithium-ion battery, slide a charged battery into the battery dock until it clicks into position. Recording an inspection with the DVD base has just four basic steps. Connect the unit to a video source, prepare the blank disk for recording, record the inspection, and finalize the disk to make it compatible with other players. To connect the DVD base to your monitoring system, Remove the video cable from its storage pouch on the strap and connect one end of the cable to the monitor's video output jack. Remove the rubber plug on the rear of the DVD base and connect the other end to the video input jack. Once your connections have been made, press the power button to turn the DVD base on. After a few moments, the DVD recorder will prompt you to insert a blank disc. To insert a disc, Flip down the rubber dust cover, then press the eject button to open the disc tray. Insert a blank disc, close the tray, and replace the cover to protect the recorder from moisture and dust. After reading the disc, the recorder will give you an on-screen prompt. If you're prompted to connect a video source, make sure that your monitoring system is powered on, and if necessary, check your connections. In some circumstances, the recorder may prompt you to choose a recording mode and select a video source. Choose the Video to DVD Recording Mode and select Video In for your recording source. Once the recorder detects a video signal, it will prompt you to format the disc. Make sure that OK is highlighted, then press the Select key to begin formatting the disc. Formatting prepares the disc for recording and usually just takes a few moments. When the disc is finished formatting, you'll see a video image on the recorder's display screen, which means the unit is ready to record. Please note that you will only see a video image on the display when a recordable disc is inside the unit. To begin recording, press the red record button. To pause recording, press the record button again. The record button acts as a toggle switching between record and pause each time you press the button. To end recording, press stop. It usually takes the recorder several seconds to stop, and it's important to let this process finish before moving the unit or disconnecting its power source. When you're finished recording, you'll need to finalize the disc to make it compatible with other players. To finalize the disc, Press the return key to open the recorder's menu. Scroll down 
and select the Setup menu. Then scroll down and select the Finalize command. On the next two screens, select Yes and then OK. Finalizing normally takes a couple of minutes, and you'll need to let this process finish before moving the unit or disconnecting its power source. To eject the disk, flip down the rubber dust cover and press the eject key. Now that we've seen the basics of setting up and recording with the DVD base, here are some tips that will help you get the most from your unit. Before inserting a blank disc, verify the status of the microphone LED. When the LED is lit, the microphone is active and its audio will be recorded. If you don't want audio recorded, locate the microphone switch on the rear of the unit and slide it to the off position. Moving the unit during disc operations may cause the laser to contact the disc surface, which can ruin the disc or damage the recorder. To help prevent this, avoid moving the DVD base when it's powered on and a disc is in the recorder. The battery meter helps you keep track of the battery's charge status. Green indicates a full charge, green and red indicates a partial charge, and red means the power is getting low. When the unit begins beeping, the power is about to shut down. If you lose power while the unit is recording, stopping, or finalizing, you may lose all or part of your recorded material. So it's best to stop the recording, power off the unit, and replace the battery as soon as possible after the LED turns red. You can connect your C-Snake camera directly to the DVD Base Assistant connector jack and use the unit to power the camera when you don't need to dim the lights or activate the camera's sound. But to see the camera's image on the display, a blank disc must be loaded into the recorder, even if you're not recording the inspection. The recorder's DVD preview feature gives you a convenient way to check your DVD before leaving the job site. If you've just finalized the disc, you'll need to press the return key twice to get back to the main menu. Highlight and select the DVD preview function. When the DVD's menu screen appears, press the select key to begin playback. Please note that the DVD recorder will play the video portion of the recording only, and it will only play on its built-in screen. When you're done previewing the DVD, press the stop or return key, or simply eject the disc. In the past few minutes, we've taken a quick tour of the DVD base's features, capabilities, and operation. Before using the equipment, be sure to read the operator manuals. The manuals contain additional information that will help you get the most out of your equipment. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to visit the CSNAKE Users Forum at rigidforum.com. Rigid's user forums give professionals a place to give and receive tips, techniques, and helpful advice on their rigid equipment. Also, stay tuned for Sea Snake Tips and Tricks, which is included on this DVD. On behalf of everyone at Rigid, thank you for choosing Sea Snake Diagnostic Equipment.